Let this be a lesson, kids. Patience is a virtue. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sally Bella here, and yes, today we are here because we are finally going to be reviewing the Sailor Moon by ColourPop Collection, which I've been wanting to do this video for months now, but couldn't because I didn't have everything in the collection. And I didn't want to do a makeup review of a collection if I don't have everything in the collection. But the thing is, I did manage to get some of the Sailor Moon collection when it first came out. Keyword, some. I got the palette, I got the two lip kits, and one of the glitters. Both blushes and the other glitter, however, I didn't manage to get them. And here's the thing. When this collection came out, ColourPop got a lot of backlash because apparently they did not handle this pre-order slash like launch day um, competently. There were a lot of people who said that the pre-order happened and like they weren't informed in time that they had signed up for it. There were people who were saying that there was so few stock that it literally sold out in seconds. There were people complaining that they don't ship internationally. Lots of stuff that happened and then it was announced that it was actually going to Ulta stores and considering I worked at Ulta, I was like, oh cool, because I actually missed the launch. I didn't even realize that ColourPop was going to be launching this collection until well after it actually happened. And I found out it was coming to my store, and I was like, oh cool, so I'll just buy it when it comes in. And then ColourPop kind of did this dirty. Usually, at least in some cases, it's the company that has to send the actual products. Everything is sent to like the makeup store by the actual brands. Like they'll send it to the distributors and the distributors will send it to each individual store. ColourPop barely sent us anything. And my store is one of like the most like frequented in the area that I live. And yeah, my store got like few things. Like we did get a lot of the palettes obviously because that's like the main selling point but you know we got you know a decent-ish amount of like the lip products and we got like literally one of each blush color maybe two of each blush color and like one of each of the glitters and yeah considering how in demand this collection was and the backlash for it you know considering how little stock there was on the ColourPop website the fact that they sent that small amount to the actual stores is ridiculous and I do say stores plural because I was on social media and I was trying to see, you know, if other stores were like that in my area. And yeah, it wasn't just in my area, but like all over, there were people tweeting who are also employees of Ulta that were just like, they sent us barely anything. And considering there were lines outside of our stores, a la James Charles palette, um, yeah, that is a little concerning. Needless to say, I did not get everything, um, especially considering I worked there and I waited until the actual launch date to get it instead of buying it early because that's not cool. But yeah, considering that I didn't get any of the blushes or one of the glitters, I decided to wait until ColourPop restock. And then the coronavirus hit and suddenly everything shut down and yeah, no, I was like, okay, well, I guess this isn't happening anytime soon. So I actually, out of curiosity, decided to check like eBay to see if anyone was selling it. And I found that people were selling these blushes that are literally $12, like that's how much they cost, $12. They were reselling them for prices between 45 to like 75, which was ridiculous. And you know, the glitters, which are $9, they were selling them for like $30. So yeah, I at one point even considered because it was just months gone by and there was no news from ColourPop about when a restock was happening. But I do understand why again there's like a pandemic, more important things going on in the makeup. But uh, you know that kind of coupled with the fact that I had the makeup sitting in my drawer and I really wanted to you know use it. I didn't even want to open it because I wanted it to be a first impressions kind of video. I did almost consider getting it, but literally because of my procrastination and my laziness, I just kept putting it off. And then suddenly ColourPop decides to restock on their website and you better believe your girl got what she wanted at the actual price. So the moral of the story is that patience is a virtue and procrastination can sometimes work to your benefit. Now with all that being said, we are finally going to get to play with the Sailor Moon by ColourPop collection. Yay! I am going to show you guys what's in here and explain each product. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then definitely do that if you want to see more makeup videos from me as well as other videos. And if you're excited to see what I think of this makeup collection and the look that we decide to make today, then keep on watching. All right, we're gonna start with the biggest piece in the collection and probably the star of it as well, the Pretty Guardian Pressed Powder Palette. Ooh, look how cute. It's got Sailor Moon on it, and you know, this is when she's Serena or Usagi, uh, depending if you're watching Japanese dub or the English dub. But yes, we have all of the colors on the back, which we will go ahead and open her up to see how she looks. 
Oh, look how cute! Okay, so I know everyone's probably already seen this right now. I know that I'm really late to the party, you guys. But look, this is my first impression. And if you're watching it, then you're interested in my first impression. This is my first impression. And the first impression is she's super cute. Wow, I said first impression so many times just now. Hi, Lamar! Yay! <laughs> Oh, but my goodness, it's so cute. And I love like when you turn it holographic. It's kind of like the holographic cards. You remember from uh, my Coco Dive unboxing video? It's like, da, da, da. Ooh, and it's holographic like on the back too. So yeah, um, it says Pretty Guardian, Sailor Moon. And then over here it says Sailor Moon Colourpop. And then we have all the colors. So we're going to go ahead and open it for the first time. I did kind of like open it just a teensy bit to slide out the plastic so it doesn't fall. But here it is for the first time on my channel, the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Palette. Oh, look how cute. Oh my gosh. So I love the design. I love the hollow like rainbow all over. And I love these colors. If you guys didn't already know it, I love pastels. And this is such a cute pastel palette. It's got some pretty neutrals, and then it has like the beautiful glitters. And then you also have these colors like, you know, lavender, you have a yellow, and things like that. You know, the kind of colors that you can turn into a really pretty pastel look, but you can also do a supernatural look too. I love it. So the shade names are Shining Moon, we have Twilight Flash, Silver Crystal, Moon Castle. We have Full Moon, Silver Millennium, sorry, Mare Serenatius, Mare Serenatius, oh, Luna, Justice, Tuxedo Rose, Love, Miracle Romance, Miracle Romance. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's going on with my list today, you guys. It's, it's, a, it's bothersome. But yeah, this is super cute. I have used ColourPop palettes before. I have the... Um, oh, God. What's the name of that one? I'll put it here because I can't remember. Um, but I have that palette, and I really like it. I really like using it. It's another one of those pastel palettes that I really like. But it's more like warm tones. But this one is super cute. I really like the glitter. I like their formula already, so I can't wait to see how it turns out with these colors. So yay! Next, we have the Accursed Blushes that eluded me for so long. Ooh, look how cute! Oh, with a little lid on them. And these each have different names. One is called Cat's Eye and one is called From the Moon. So we're going to go ahead and open up. We'll start with Cat's Eye and... Ooh, yes! It has a little hollow too, so like... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> the, like smacky smack on the head. Okay, so this is going to be cat's eye. <gasps> ooh, look how pretty. This looks like it's upside down kind of, but that's okay, I think. Look how cute. It's got a little Luna patch in there. A little stamp in there, I should say patch, stamp. But this is a really pretty kind of like pink color. It looks a little more like it leans toward the side of like pink coral, which is really pretty. I love using like a pink coral to combine with my So Naturally like blush from MAC. So I feel like I would love to use that one in combination. Now we have From the Moon. It's got the same little <laughs> And let's go ahead and open her up. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, so from the moon, so the difference is that cat's eye is more of a shimmer and then from the moon is matte and this is like a matte bright pink. So this is really pretty too. Ooh, I want to, I already know like what I want to do with the blushes later, but I'll just keep them as set for now. And then we have the lip kits. So each of these come with a blotted lip and a glossy lip, ultra blotted lip and an ultra glossy lip. And so this one is called Daylight, and you see we have Serena, you know, in her schoolgirl uniform, and then we have Moonlight, which has Sailor Moon, like the actual Sailor Scout. And let's see, uh, Daylight comes with the Ultra Blotted Lip Usagi and the Ultra Glossy Lip Moon Tiara, while Moonlight comes with the Ultra Blotted Lip Bunhead and the Ultra Glossy Lip Sailor Moon. And then this is what they look like on the back, they have Luna on them. Um, so let's go ahead and open Daylight first. Let's go ahead and see what they look like. Ooh, cute, cute. Ah, so cute. Okay, so I love the caps. The caps are beautiful. And so let's see. The Ultra Blotted Lip. That's this one. It's very pretty, kind of like pink color. It's called Usagi. It's like a... It's, yeah, sort of like a pink, I would say. And then we have uh, Moon Tiara. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip. And it's like a very pretty, like, 
goldish color. It's got gold flecks in there. This one is more, probably gonna be more like a cream. Not like a cream, but I mean like, you know, like no shimmer, no sparkle, and this one has a lot of glimmer and sparkle, which is super cute. I can also see kind of like pink flecks in there too, so that makes me excited. I'm interested to know what the difference between the Ulta Blotted Lip and the Ultra Glossy Lip are. I don't think we actually have like the Blotted Lip at my store. We have Liquid Lip and we have like the Glossy Lip. So I, I kind of want to see the effect that Ultra Blotted Lip has. So let's go ahead and take out Moonlight. Ooh, okay. So Bun Head is going to be the Blotted Lip. Pretty similar color actually. Hold on. Let me, let me compare these. Okay, no. Okay, so yeah, Ultra Blood Lip. So Usagi is definitely more of like pink, whereas Bunhead lean more towards mauve. More of like the lavender-ish. That's, that's fine. I just wanted to know because I was like, for a second I took it out, I was like, oh, this looks incredibly similar. Apparently they do not once you can actually hold them up together. And then we have Sailor Moon, the Ultra Glossy Lip. And ooh, this one also has like the gold and the pink flex, but this is going to be more of like, probably like a pinkish peach color. So that's gonna be interesting to see too. Can't wait to swatch those. And then finally we have the glitters. So these are the Glitterally, Glitterally, <laughs> Glitterally Obsessed uh, Body Glitter. And so we have two colors. We have Moonlight Legend and Moon Prism Power. Fun fact, when I used to play Sailor Moon in like elementary school with my friends, uh, I would always play Sailor Mercury. I don't know if it's because I'm I was really petite back then too, I don't know. But I liked it because I had the power of bubbles and I, I like bubbles, bubbles are fun. Um, so yeah, let's take them out. So we have Moonlight Legend. Uh, this is the one that I did not get the first time around. So this one, ooh, so cute. Look at the pink. Oh, and I love, love, love the little seal. Look at that, look how cute that is. Oh, pretty. Look at the flex, it looks like rainbow iridescent. I love it. Oh my gosh, so cute. And now that means that Moon Prism Power is the purple one. Ooh, so it has the same stamp on the top. And then we have beautiful purple. These look like they have stars. I wonder, I don't think the pink one has stars. Hold on. No, I don't think so. I'm gonna open them just to look. Because I wanna know. Ooh, okay, so we have a little, oh. No, the pink one does not have the stars. Interesting. So yeah, the purple one um, has iridescent as well, like blue-green kind of iridescent. And it also has little stars in it. So super cute. Ooh, and little hexagonal shapes. Whereas the pink one, I think, is a little more rounded. So I like that there's like different, not just in color, but also like in actual like glitters and detail. Like I, I like that they went the extra mile on that. So yay, cute. All right, and with that, let's get into the actual makeup look. And first thing I'm gonna do after I pin my hair back is I'm gonna be using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prep my eyes. Alrighty then, I have my eyes prepped, I have my hair pinned back, and we are going to get into the palette. Now, first off, I wanna use all the colors. <laughs> I really wanna use all the colors, but I know it's not technically feasible. Um, so let's see, let's, let's try to figure out. So I know for sure I want to use the purples, and I know I want to use that yellow. So let me try to build around it. Maybe I can use all of them. Let's start with Mooncastle like in my crease uh, to start out. So I'm going to go ahead and take a JH32 brush and just sort of pat in. Just as a sort of like a little transition shade we can use, like just to lay the groundwork, let's say. Just a smidgen. Okay. I don't see a super ton of pigment, but again, I put only a little bit of it. So what I'll do... Now the first thing I want to do is probably lay the groundwork. I want to... I know I want to use Luna and Miracle Romance on like my outer V. Like I think that would be super cute. And why don't we go ahead and like use all of them? Um, I can probably do Tuxedo Rose and Love sort of like in the crease. I should probably mention that it's actually the 4th of July when I'm filming this. Uh, so pardon if you hear any fireworks outside my house. So yeah, let's start with Love and Tuxedo Rose. I'll do Love first since it's like darker color. Um, and then we can use Tuxedo Rose sort of as like a transition also. Oh, 
All right, so that looks really cute. I like so far this has pigment, which I like. Um, very similar to the other ColourPop palette that I have. So I really like the shimmer in it too. Like if you look at it closely, there's like those tiny bits of like pink or goldish shimmer in it, um, which are super cute. Yeah, this is mostly like pink and gold. So I like that a lot. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and using the same brush, I'm gonna to dip into Tuxedo Rose, just to sort of like add a little bit of like that transitional color and give it a bit of a little pop, bringing it closer to the corner of my eye. Alrighty then, so yeah, that gave it a little bit of that pop, a little bit, sort of like a coral, because this is more of a pinkish coral shade, pink leaning towards coral. The way it swatches, yeah, it's like coral. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about pink, but yeah, that's coral. So I like the brightness that it brings to it. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to use um, Miracle Romance and Luna for that outer V. So we'll start with Miracle Romance because it is the more matte shade. And for that, I will be using a JH40. So let's go ahead and dip into that and then how about it? Alright, so what I'm noticing is, yes, there's pigment, not a ton, but I did mention that this palette is more, you know, like, pastel kind of look, like soft, not super bold, you know, you get my drift. There's color showing up, it's not as, like, strong a purple as I thought, probably when I add in the Luna, it'll probably help, but I do notice I kind of have to dip in a little more than some of my other palettes, like, to get more color. Not a super big deal breaker, it's not, like, a a huge deal for me like at least but I can see as to how this might like bother some people but it doesn't really bother me that much so yeah with that said I am gonna dip into Luna and just see if we can add a little bit of dimension Okay, that certainly helped. It helped give both dimension and a little bit more pigment to it. I like the combination of the purples. I like the way it looks topped on top of like the reddish coral. Um, like, you know, the love and the tuxedo rose. I think it's a really cute combination. Again, it's not like super, super bold, but that might just be, you know, the price, the quality. It's not like the best thing in the world, but again, for the price, it's doing a really nice job. Um, again, it reminds me of the palette I already have from ColourPop, which I don't really have any complaints with. I usually use that palette when I want a softer look. I kind of want to use Twilight Flash like to sort of like keep connecting like from, if you see how I kind of brought it over, I kind of want to like connect it and bring it down to the inner corner of my eye like, you know, I call it overcast. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And to do that, I am going to use a Morphe M43. So let's go ahead and dip into Twilight Flash. Ooh, that's a lot. That's the thing, this, okay, so this does have a lot of fallout. I will say that there is fallout. So tread carefully. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, JH40 again. And just take a little bit more of Luna and Miracle Romance just to put back the purple that was kind of taken out from that blending, so. Speaking of, I am gonna go ahead and continue with the Miracle Romance and the Luna, connecting it with my lower lash line. So that way everything's nice and together. Yeah, remember that fallout I mentioned? I'm starting to see it. And it's also fallen on my eyelashes, which, um, and that's not to say I, eyeshadow doesn't fall on my lashes ever. I'm just saying like, it's very noticeable. So, oh yeah, that's, that's the fallout. Okay. So we have a bit of a fallout problem, you guys. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but yep, that's me trying to get rid of the fallout. Should have brought a sponge, that's my bad, but still, mm, 
That is a little bit unfortunate. All right, so moving on, I am trying to decide what color to use on the lid because I want to use Justice right here in my inner corner. Probably put some full moon on top. I know for sure I want to use um, shining moon on my brow bone. Let me start by putting shining moon on my brow bone just to get that out of the way. I'm going to use an M167. And so let's go ahead and do shining moon. Hmm. I don't like it on my brow bone. It looks it looks a little too peachish. So bad idea. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put Silver Millennium on top because <laughs> there's no way that this can get worse. I think so. Maybe that'll help, like balance it out a little. That certainly helped. Okay, so I want to retract kind of my statement. It's not that I look too peach or orange. It just blended too well with my skin tone, I think. So maybe had I used, maybe if I hadn't used like the red, like Love and the Tuxedo Rose there, maybe it wouldn't have looked like that. Um, that's what I get for trying to use every color in the palette. But on its own, it is very pretty. Like that's what it looks like. It's a very pretty color and I like the shimmer in it. It's just... I used it wrong. <laughs> I've been using, I, I've been doing everything wrong. So yeah, you know. oh well. All right, so just this in my inner corner, kind of buffed out. We'll start there. I'm probably gonna do Moon Castle in my lid. So let's actually do Moon Castle first. I'm gonna take a different M167 brush. Let's do a little bit of Moon Castle. What could go wrong? Oh, not that bad. Yay! I was like, the not as bad as we thought it was gonna be. Woo! And I'm just doing like a little bit, even though you don't need a lot. Like, like I said, like this is a lighter pigment. That's kind of what I want, especially in this case, because I don't want it to be like too like boom. This is the color because we're going to be putting glitter on top of it. Oh, I like it. It's very much true to my skin tone. This one is really true to my skin tone, or at least uh, true to the painterly. So it kind of looks like I cut the crease with it, but I just use eyeshadow. So I like that. That's nice. And I feel like this will work as a nice crease or like transition shade. Like I said, if I was doing like a different kind of look, you know, like a more neutral or something like that. All right, let's go for that justice. We're going to go ahead and... I am going to take a JS5 brush and we're going to go ahead and pop a little bit of justice on that and then boop. Oh, I love it. And this reminds me of the look I did for that one Army Selka Day. Uh, I want to say maybe last July, um, where I did Jungkook Euphoria, like his yellow jacket. And the look I did, I kind of compared it to like a parrot uh, because it was like you know reds and oranges and blues and yellows. This kind of reminds me of it, except you know purple instead of blue. What is this one on the hair doing? Get in your place. I'm just gonna take a little bit of Luna with the 167 and connect. I might have to go back with a little bit of that justice because I don't want the purple to overtake it. And I'm kind of letting it happen. So now, ooh, but I really, I'm starting to like that Mare Serenity. Now we're gonna do full moon first. Full moon is gonna go just a teensy, teensy bit in that inner corner, just like smack dab right in that little itty bitty. And I'm gonna take a 167 and just pop. I feel like that kind of enhances the yellow a little bit. Now, silver crystal. Very pretty, but like in a pink shade. And then Mare Serenitas is 
more like actual glitter. Hmm, which one do I do? What if I actually take silver crystal on the lid and then I put Mary Sanchez on top? Let's just use all the palette. You know, that's what I want. That's what I really want. So we'll do that. Because we've already used silver millennium on my lid, so why not? <laughs> So cute, but you know what's not cute? The fact that I realized just how freaking dry my lips are. Oh my gosh, that's so gross. What is wrong with my lips? What is wrong with my eyebrow hairs, first of all? Why aren't you staying in place? Second off, what is wrong with my lips? And I've been drinking water. Like, I don't get it. Yes, I know I need to fully and whatnot, but so. So annoying. You know what's not annoying though? This I look. It looks so cute. Ooh, just need to connect here real quick. Boop, boop, boop. I'm not even gonna use eyeliner with this look. One, because again, soft, cute girl look, you know. We don't need eyeliner. Because I feel like it'll just like dramatize it too much. But second, because I hate putting eyeliner on, so I will avoid it if possible. Ooh, I love it. I look like a butterfly. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, so real quick, um, before I give my thoughts on the palette, I am going to pop on some mascara. I'm gonna be using Tarte Man Eater, so give me one second. All right, so I got my mascara on, and my thoughts on the palette. I like it a lot. Is it the best palette ever? No. There is a good amount of fallout. Good. Um, there's, there's a bit of fallout. The pigment is not the most pigmented thing Ever. It's not the best pigmented I've ever seen. Some of them like Full Moon, Silver Millennium, and Luna, maybe even like Silver Crystal. I feel like you have to like press on them a bit to get like them on your brush, get some more pigment out of them. The Luna did have like a lot of fallout. However, I have used Colourpop palettes before so I knew kind of what to expect. I do not begrudge this at all. I feel like this is a palette if you want natural or cute looks but aren't super big and bold and bright, you know, if you want something more soft. And again, considering the price point, it's not, again, like the worst palette ever. Um, so I do really like it. I can't in full confidence say, oh yeah, this is the best palette ever. You have to have this. Um, but I do really like it. And I like the way it goes on. I like the way it looks. I'm just saying like the actual application is a little, you know, hit or miss, but it's not terrible. I don't think it's terrible at all. I think it's very good, especially again, for a company that doesn't make these like super expensive, like this is what, $20? So that's not bad at all. All right, so we have eyes on, but we do need to add a little bit of color to these puffy cheeks. Mm. <laughs> mm. So we're going to go ahead and use the blushes. Now I did mention I had an idea and that idea was to combine the blushes. So what I want to do, because I've been doing kind of this trick where I take my normal blush, like my more pigmented one, which is my MAC So Naturally, and it's more of like a neutral tone, and I put that on, and then I take, you know, a shimmery coral blush, you know, that's very, you know, sheer, and kind of put that on top. Just give it some dimension. My friend Kira taught me that trick. Hey Kira, how you doing? So I kind of want to do the same thing. I want to do From the Moon, which is the more bright matte blush first, and then go over it with the Cat's Eye Coral Shimmer. And for that, I will be using an M530. So let's go ahead and start with From the Moon. Okay, so let's tap off excess and then... Ooh, ooh, she pigmented. Ooh, she pigmented. Okay, hold on. Oh my, that's okay. So let's let's buffer out. Yes, I am using an a JH30 because I forgot to bring my big puffy brush in here. Whoops! But it's doing a good job. Okay, that looks better. Um, yeah, so wow, that was really pigmented. Okay, everything I said about like the eyeshadows, you know, being very soft. Um, opposite with this. I don't know how to feel about that because I'm not too used to, you know, 
using big bright bold blushes like i usually go for very natural and the blush i have from mac is actually it's the the glow and play blush so it's already very like softened like you put it on it's already kind of blended looking so i'm not too used to the whole like blend out my blush so that might take some getting used to but it doesn't look bad i think it looks kind of cute makes me look all rosy so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna go ahead and against better judgment, I'm going to go ahead and continue with my plan of putting cat's eye on top. So let me just swatch it first. Okay, so a little bit and then boom. And I'm just gonna take this one again and just kind of buff it out. I don't know how much of a good idea that was. Um, see what happened is that that fallout from earlier, the purple is still there. So hold on, let me, is there any way for me to get rid of that? No, no, I just probably made it worse. Oh, fun, cool, okay. Um, yeah, that fallout is starting to get a little annoying, but that might just be me not being prepared enough because I don't have my sponges with me or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, recommendation, if the fallout is too much, do eyeshadow first and then clean it up after. So the blushes are cute. I like it. I think, again, I'm not too used to the whole having to like buff out my blush because I kind of found like a cheat for it with a different product, but it's not terrible. I don't hate it. The colors are cute. I don't know how it looks like on its own, like the cat's eye, because I did put it on top of the other one. Probably it's gonna be more on the sheer side and you might have to like build it. But I look forward to trying this for my So Naturally blush because I feel like that would be a really cute look too. So, so far though, I do like it. I like the color that it brings to me. Cause Lord knows I'm pale enough. Oh, there's just like purple. It's like, oh, okay, there's purple there. She lives there now, it's okay. All right, so next I wanna do the glitters. So the glitters, let's talk about the glitters. Again, I kind of want to use both, but I feel like in this case it might be too much. Don't know, but what I do know is that I have two options. One, I can do the glitters like, you know, highlight form, you know, like an actual highlight of glitter. Or I can do glitter freckles, which I haven't done in a while, but I do really like the way they look. And also it would kind of work considering that purple there. It would just kind of like go over my nose. So what do I do? Like. What do I do, you guys? Which color do I use and what technique do I use? I really want to do freckles. So that being said, let me let me let me swatch both of them real quick just to see. So so the Moonlight Legend actually looks very iridescent. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, more on like the pinkish peach side. That might work better for the freckles if I don't want it to be too obvious. So let me see the the purple real quick. Oh, the purple one also has little moons. I just noticed that. That's so cute. Dang, Pink. You don't really have that much going on. I mean, you do. You're you're cute. I like you. Don't don't take it the wrong way. I'm just saying, like, you know, stuff like your game a little. And then this is the purple. So yeah, you can definitely see it's it's more like a lavender. Once you put it on, it is gonna be more like a lavender. I feel like the purple would work more for like when I was gonna do like a proper highlight because of like the different glitter shapes and things like that. And for freckles, the pink iridescent would be much better. So now it's just a matter of which one I wanna do. And I did say I wanted to do like the freckles. So we'll go ahead and do pink. We'll do, we'll do that. So let me go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and take the Moonlight Legend a little bit and just start. So I learned this technique from one of my old managers I miss you, Chris. Are you watching? Do you miss me too? Chris, if you're watching, tell me you miss me in the comments, okay? That way I know you're watching. And say hi to Nate for me. But if any of you guys are like older viewers of my channel, you might recall the last time that I had um, glitter freckles on in a video was my reaction, well, it was at my doomsday vlog, like um, the day that Map of the Soul Persona came out. I had them on when I did my reaction for Boy With Love, the music video, and like my unboxing of my album. And yeah, I look really cute in that, but you couldn't really tell that well because that was back when I had my other light in my room, like 
late. I wasn't very good at being a YouTuber. But you know, things change, you know? I have a better light. It's only like 6.30 right now and in the summer. So like there's still light out because it's July. I'm still not a very good YouTuber, but you know, some things change. And you know, that's okay. Change is okay, you guys. It can be scary. You know, we're all going through periods of change, you know, constantly and right now. But change can be good. Change can be needed. Change better happen. You can't do it for me, do it for Sailor Moon. Cute. Oh, I love it. I have glued on my hair and <laughs> I just washed my hair today. I think it's because I still have it on my arm. I'm gonna go wash this off. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, okay, so I feel like it did kind of swell a little or like it kind of went over on the blush, but that's okay because I feel like it kind of diffused it a little and I like it. I think it's really cute. And that just leaves the lips. So now, <laughs> more decisions. Um, okay, so let's take a look. See, I want to know what the blotted lip actually does. Like, what is it for? What kind of effect does it give? Just oh okay so it's it's to give yeah like the blood lip look it's like you know gradient lip kind of look so okay that's cute i like it but which one do i do do i do daylight or moonlight let's go with daylight let's yeah let's do with daylight so we'll start with the ultra blotted lip and then this is a soggy so ready Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so first off, the color's really pretty. Um, second, this is a very, this is, this reminds me of like the Powder Kiss lipstick from MAC where it's like matte, but it's not super drying. Like it doesn't feel like paint. I like it, it's very cute. Like the color's cute. My lips ain't, it looks all dry and AF, but that's just again, my lips. But I like the color and I like, the applicator is interesting. I did need to dip in, which normally does not happen. I usually don't have to like re-dip my wand to get more product because usually what I have on the wand is more than enough. But again, because this like is a different like consistency, it's a different product. I did have to if I wanted something that was more like boom. But I feel like if I wanted something like a lot softer, I wouldn't need to. Like if I wanted to look very like much the gradient look, then wouldn't be necessary. But it's cute. I love it. So now all that's left is going to be the ultra glossy lip, which is Moon Tiara. Now, let me see. Um, I've never really been a big fan of ColourPop's wands for like their lip glosses because I remember when I was like working in my store and we had the Disney villain collection and people would like jam the tester like over and over and you know at one point I, I looked at it because I wanted to swatch it for myself and I opened it and it looked like Angelica's doll from the Rugrats you remember Cynthia yeah it looked like that um so I'm a little no 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 um but other than that we are going to go ahead and try this out and see how it looks that's cute Thank you. All right, so I went ahead and I just put it on like the center of my lip um, and then just kind of blotted it outward. But I like it. I, I really actually like this lip gloss a lot because it's not tacky and I really hate it when lip glosses are really sticky or tacky or like really gritty where I can feel the glitter. Um, I don't like that, but this one, not tacky. I don't feel the glitter. Yeah, no, it's just a really nice lip gloss. Um, I've tried lip glosses by ColourPop before, so it's again, nothing new to me, but I really like the color. 
And I like the way it goes on top of like the blotted lip, which is something new for me. So I like the combination of them. And I like the little way that they sell them in kit. I should mention, by the way, they do sell the lips individually. So if you wanted just one of them or something like that, or if you wanted just the blotted lips and not the lip glosses or whatever, you could uh, get them you know, in that way. Or you can get them in the kit format so that way you can like try everything. So yeah, that's about it. The only thing I have left to do is to put on a little bit of Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe just to keep the look all together. So let's do that. Mm, refreshing. <laughs> all right, my face is set, my hair is unpinned, and we are done with this look. And it looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I just, like seeing it all together and like with my hair down and finally dried it just it looks so cute you guys i love it i love you know everything on its own but all together it looks fantastic so let me give you my little quick final thoughts on what i think of this collection so the palette i already mentioned i love the colors the pigment while not super super intense i don't think that was the point of it i think it's supposed to be more of a softer or more of a natural look and i think it did a really good job with that i like the different finishes in the palette i love like the packaging i love the packaging for everything by the way but my one gripe about it is that fallout but then again if you already have ColourPop palettes like myself, you're probably sort of used to that. I know that sounds kind of mean, but it's true. Um, and if it doesn't bother you that much, then I don't think this palette would bother you that much. But if you are someone that does not like any fallout at all or very minimal fallout, probably not gonna be too happy with this palette. The blushes. So, like I said, I personally am not used to using blushes that are super, super pigmented. I, again, I found my own little cheat with that with the MAC uh, Glow and Play blush that I use more often uh, than not. However, uh, these were very easy to blend. I didn't feel like it looked too stained afterward. I think it looked really nice after I blended out. And in terms of like the colors, I really like For the Moon as a matte blush and I love using Cat's Eye on top of it. I'll have to test Cat's Eye on its own to see what it looks like. Perhaps it might be a little too sheer. Maybe it's gonna be like a super, super sheer natural kind of blush, which if that's your thing, cool. If not, I would recommend using it on top of a, you know, more matte blush to get it, give it a little pop, a little more dimension. But in and of itself, I do really like these blushes. The glitters, so I really like them. They are small, yes, but they are only $9, so I feel like for the price point, like in terms of ratio, it's not like super crazy. I like that they were creative in that not only are each of them gonna be a different color, but you know, they have different shapes in their glitters, like one has moons and stars, and the other one has like more rounded pieces. I think that these are super cute, and I like the way that they apply. They're very easy to apply, and they stay on, so that is a big plus for me. And finally, the lips. So I really, really like these. I already, like I said, have tried the lip glosses from ColourPop, so nothing new there. I like the colors though. And then in terms of the blood lip, a new product, but I actually really like it. Like I said, it reminds me of like the Powder Kiss um, from MAC. And so I like that sort of like matte look without the matte feel, but in like a liquid format. I like how quick it is to dry and I like the effect that it gives. I would say, again, the one thing is that you do kind of have to dip back into it, or at least I did, if you want a more like opaque, complete coverage look like this. But they also, I feel, work if you want to do like a traditional blotted lip look, like a gradient, which I definitely want to try doing and see how that turns out. Overall, I really did like the Sailor Moon by ColourPop collection, and I would recommend you guys uh, try it out if it wasn't completely sold out and I have no idea when it's actually gonna come back or if it will come back, so I'm sorry. But I would say keep an eye on it because if it does come back, I do say it's totally worth it. Though not triple the price on eBay worth it. That's just ridiculous. But yeah guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you managed to get your hands on some of the uh, Sailor Moon by ColourPop collection and if you did what it is that you got or if you liked it. And if you didn't, or you don't care to, what is your favorite ColourPop product? I'm very curious about that, so go ahead and sound off in the comments below, and definitely subscribe for more. You can watch my last video right up here. It was me unboxing my Map of the Soul 7 tour merch. For a tour that didn't happen. And if you want to follow me on social media, I will be leaving my links for my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok in the description, as well as some links for Black Lives Matter. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Now that my Sailor Moon makeup look is complete, it is time to put on the necklace. Ooh, cute. 
it's actually a locket. So you open it, and there's a little moonstone in there. See? And then this is a little spot for a picture. So this is where I would put a picture of my boyfriend. If I had one! So I guess I'll just leave it empty. And now I'm not going to put a picture of BTS in there because that would just be odd. <laughs>